Hello, sports fans and football fans. I'm here again with another 1972 match. I'm trying to sound like that guy that does the NFL fans, but anyway. Um, today it's going to be the 72 Raiders visiting the 1972 Pittsburgh Steelers. And at quarterback for the Steelers will be the tried and true Terry Bradshaw. However, the quarterback for the Oakland Raiders will be Daryl LaMonica because he had the most uh, reps at quarterback in 1972. However, Kenny the Snake Stabler is on the roster and we may just see an appearance by Ken Stabler. It depends on how the Raiders are doing at halftime. If they're if they're hanging with the with the Steelers at halftime, we'll probably stick with LaMonica. Or you might see him at the end in a meaningless game, if it becomes meaningless by the end. But who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Now, defensively, Oakland is good against the run and good against the pass. However, the 1972 Steelers, as you might well imagine, are excellent against the run and excellent against the pass. So we're going to see what happens. The Steelers are going to kick off. They're the home team, and that's how I always do it. The home team decides, and the home team is going to kick off um, to the Raiders. So we will get their kickoff, and it is a six, which is to the five, number one, a number one. So the Raiders are returning it from the five-yard line, and the return is an 11, and it's going to be fumble 20 yards. So out to the 25, they fumble. 2 to 6 or 12, they recover. They do not. <laughs> so the Steelers take over on the 25. So you just handed the Steelers a gift. I don't know about that. Um, anyway, we will be keeping time with the uh, timer that's in the set. We are not going to do it the normal way. We're not going to do um, two ticks for a run play and one for a pass. We're just going to do one tick for all plays except kicks because there are 60 of them in a half and it is um, common, I guess it's common, commonly uh, accepted that each team has runs about 60 plays on average per game. And so, 30 per half would be 60 ticks and that would give us what we need. So anyway, the Steelers have the ball and they're going to go end run with Franco Harris, the fullback. And oh, we're knocking cards over already. Um, it is going to be a, uh, they are looking for the, what are they looking for? So we better determine that. Um, on first and 10, they are looking for the run easily. So this is an end run with the fullback and it is on the defense anyway. I gotta get used to just reading the um, defensive cards immediately off the defense. But anyway, the Oakland defense end run seven is only a yard as you might well imagine. Um, and I need my yard marker. Here we go, we've got the yard marker and uh, they only get a yard. So it's second and nine. They're going to go off tackle with uh, Frenchy Fuqua, the halfback. And it is going to be on the defense for Oakland, off tackle um, seven. And that is, again, probably going to be not a lot of yards. It's only two. And that gives them a, and that's two plays, that gives them a third and seven, and they are going to go short to the split end. Short pass to the split end. And that's going to be a nine on short pass, and it's a possible defensive penalty. So let's see what the nine short pass is on Oakland. It is going to be a receiver, but before we do that, let's see if there's going to be a penalty on Oakland. It is a three, and it is not a penalty. There's no penalty. So um, we will resolve the receiver, and it is the split end. And the split end for 
the Steelers is Frank Lewis. Lewis. And that is a six. And they were not looking for the pass. So six is 12 yards. It doesn't matter. It's 12 yards anyway. So they get the three, 10, and back it off one. And now the Steelers have a first and 10 at the 11 yard line. And they're going to go back to end run Franco Harris. And that is a five, and that's going to be a possible fumble. End run fumble on Oakland's defense is a fumble two to seven. It is not, but it is a negative three yards. And so now it is first and ten for the, or second and, well, second and goal. No, not second and goal. It is second and uh, 13 for the Steelers from the 14 yard line. And they're just going to, this time they're just going to go back and they're going to go short to the tight end. They're just going to throw it into the end zone with, with Bradshaw. And that is a nine short pass nine on the Oakland defense is receiver. And uh, they were looking for the pass. And so it's a seven short pass, seven. And uh, let's see. That's going to be a must run, Terry Bradshaw. Out on his own, must running. And it's a seven, and it's eight yards. This was, of course, when Terry Bradshaw was young and spry and pretty good. Um, so that is uh, eight yards, and they have a... Um, Third and five. Third and five. They're going to go short again, this time to the split end. And that is a nine. Short pass nine on the Oakland defense is receiver. Again, we will look for the receiver. They are looking for the, probably looking for the pass. Let me see. They are looking for the pass, yes. And that is a nine on the receiver, who is the split end. And a nine, when they're looking for it, is incomplete. So now they've got a fourth and goal. Or a fourth and five. I keep saying fourth and goal, but they can get to the one-yard line. Fourth and <coughs> five. They're going to kick the field goal. So, kicking a field goal from the six-yard line is um, 2 to 8, 11, or 12 good. And it is. So, the Steelers have a 3 nothing lead. And you can see, here's my high-tech scoring, uh, scoring mechanism. <laughs> so, anyway, um, they will kick off 7. And that is to the seven, number one. So Oakland catches it this time at the seven. Let's hope for better results for them. And that is, but it's going to be on the Steelers return card, seven. And it is going to be 21 yards. Three, 10, 20, and back it off, two. So they got a first and 10 at the 29-yard line. And they are going to, on first down, they're going to go end run with the halfback. Their halfback is um, Charlie Smith. And they're going to end run with Charlie Smith. I don't know if anybody remembers Charlie Smith. I really don't. But uh, then again, I was a youngin' back in 1972. Uh, that is going to be a nine on Charlie Smith's card with them looking for the pass, I believe. Yes, they are looking for the pass, and so that'll be a, uh, <coughs> what is it, nine on Charlie Smith, end run, and it's going to be six yards. So they have a second and um, four, and they're going to go flat pass to the tight end. And we got to put the cards back up, 
got a little problem with that. Um, that's going to be a flat pass 11 on the Steelers' defense. And that is an incomplete. Unbelievable, it's incomplete. So they got a third and four. Um, they're not going to be shying away from that, though. They're going to go flat to, let's see. Do we want to go to him? Yeah, they're going to go flat pass to, well, let's see. How many did he have? Yeah, they're going to go flat pass to Charlie Smith, the halfback. And that is a seven flat pass on the, um, and let's see if they were looking for it. They were not looking for it. They were looking for the run. But it's a seven flat pass on LaMonica's card, and it's incomplete because it's a double incomplete there. So with fourth and four, the Raiders are certainly going to punt. And that's a 10, which is not going to be a good punt. It's 32 yards, back one by Jerry DePoister. So uh, what was this? Um, 32 yards, 1, 10, 20, 30, and 1. And uh, the number one back, so we're going to flip the return card for the Steelers. And that is an 8, which is on the return card for the um, uh, Raiders and that's five yards so their Steelers are going to have good field position again they've got a first and ten from their own 39 they're already up three nothing and they're going to come out and they're going to go end run with the half back and that is um, <coughs> that is Franchi Foqua and that is going to be a six end run six on his card is a short game and there's no penalty. And that's three. That's going to be 19 yards, people. 16 and three is 19. And there you go. They've got a first and 10 already at the Oakland, um, at the Oakland 42 yard line. So they're going to go off tackle with Harris, Franco Harris of the uh, Immaculate Reception team. And he gets a nine off tackle on the Oakland defense, which is going to be five yards and no penalty on that. So it is five yards and it's going to be a uh, second and five. Second and five, they're going to go end run back to Franchi. Now, 72, it was a big running year. Quarterbacks were not that great. And that is an end run 11. <clears throat> they are looking for, what is this? Uh... This was second and five. Second and five, they are looking for the pass one to six. So they're looking for the, they are looking for the run. And this is an uh, off tackle, or no, end run by Fakwa. And that's still going to be four yards, even with them looking for it. And so they have a third and one. And yeah, back in 1972, Teams ran the ball a lot. Terry Bradshaw's completion percentage was 47.7%. Let me say that again. Terry Bradshaw's completion percentage in 1972 was 47.7%. He didn't even complete 50% of his passes. So with a third and one, they're going to do a line buck with Franco Harris. You got to know that's coming. And did Oakland. It's a nine, but it's a possible offensive penalty. Uh, nine line buck is going to be three yards, but let's see if they have end of, end of first down. But let's see if they have a uh, penalty. Eight, there is no penalty. So they get the three yards and they have a first and ten. New set of downs at the Oakland 30. And they're going to go end run with Fakwa again. Because why not? I mean, he broke it for a short gain earlier and that is an 11 end run Oakland's defense eight yards big time so that is going to be a second and two they're going to go flat to the tight end right here they're going to try to get this um, right now and that is a 10 on the flat pass defense for Oakland, and it is going to be 25 yards and a touchdown, Steelers. And let's see if they get the extra point. Um, 
2 to 11. And they just barely get it, but they do. So as you can see by my rather primitive scorecard, it is 10 nothing Steelers right now. Are you kidding me with this? So they're going to kick off. And it is a 7 on the kickoff. And to the 7-yard line, number 1 back. And there, I mean, Oakland has played this game before. Uh, to the 7, number 1, and they are going to return it. And they get a 9. And 9 is 23 yards. That's not too bad. 3, 10, 20. And they got a 1st and 10 at the 30. Not too bad a field position, but they're down 10 now. They're going to go end run with the halfback, and that's Charlie, is that Charlie Smith? Charlie Smith, I knew it was a common name. Six end run, and they uh, on the defense for the uh, Steelers. And that is going to be three yards. So they got a second and seven. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback. The fullback is Pete Banizak. Now we all remember Pete Banizak. Even I remember him as young as I was at the time. And that is going to be a 7 with them looking for the pass. So off tackle 7 is going to be 12 yards for Pete Banizak. 10 and 12. And now the Oakland uh, Raiders are finally moving the ball. And not making any mistakes. It's going to be an end run with a halfback. And they are looking for the run. And it's an 8 end run Charlie Smith. Um... And that is going to be three yards because they were looking for it. So they've got a second and seven. They're going to go short to the split end. Short pass, second and seven. And uh, they're looking for the run. They're looking for the run, and it's going to be a, sh uh, let's see, six short pass on Pittsburgh's defense is incomplete. They caught them with their pants down, and they couldn't cap capitalize on it. So, they're going to go flat to the tight end on third and seven. And that's going to be a three. And it is a flat pass three on the Pittsburgh defense. And that is going to be incomplete. Unreal. And they got a punt. They've got to punt. And that is a seven. Now, that's not too bad considering where they are on the field. Um, seven is a 39 back one. So two, 10, 20, 30. So they're going to return from the, uh, from their own 13 yard line. And, uh, well, let's see. Back number one on the punt return. That's a 10. And that's going to be a fair catch. So the the Steelers now don't have good field position. They're starting at their own 13. <clears throat> They're going to go end run with Fakwa, the halfback. And that is going to be a four, end run four on the uh, Oakland defense. And that's going to be five yards. So they got a second and five. They're going to go off tackle with Harris, Franco Harris. And that's going to be a nine and uh, nine on the off tackle um, for Oakland is five, another five yards and they get a first down. So it's first and 10 at the 23. And they're going to go end run with Fakwa. I mean, why not? Just keep moving the ball, moving the ball and eating the time. Eight, end run, and there's a possible defensive penalty, but let's see what uh, eight and run on the Oakland defense is. It's five yards, but let's see if there was a penalty on Oakland. That is a six, and there isn't, so it's another five-yard gain. And it's going to be second and five for the Steelers, and they're going to go off tackle with... Franco, you know it. Oh, <laughs> lost the dice. 
And that's going to be a seven and a possible offensive penalty, though. But uh, seven off tackle on Franco's card. When they are looking for the run, I believe. Let's see. One to six pass. So, no. Yes, they were looking for the run. So, off tackle seven is going to be four yards because they were looking for it. But let's see if there was a penalty on the Steelers. Eight. There isn't. So, it is four yards. And that, again, brings up a third and one for the Steelers. And they're going to go line buck with Franco Harris. And that's going to be a four. And a four on the defense for the line buck for uh, Oakland is nine yards. So that's easily a first down. Three, eight, nine. And they've got a first and ten now at, the, uh, at their own 41-yard line. They're going to go end run with Fakwa. And he gets a, they're looking for the run, whatever it is, but uh, he gets a, a six. Six end run for Fakwa is zero yards because they were looking for it. So it's second and ten. And now he's going to go back and launch it. They're going along to the split end. All of a sudden they're just going to try a long pass and see what that does. And that's going to be a six long pass on the Oakland defense, which is intercepted two to nine. They had to do it, didn't they? They had to get impatient, and it is intercepted uh, 31 yards down the field. Yeah. Four, 10, 20, 30, and then back it off three. And... I, um, and then the interception return we will roll for. And that is a six, which is only 12 yards. So that's going to be three, ten, and back it off one. And now Oakland has the ball, first and ten. That was a gift from the gods right there because... Uh, they were moving the the Steelers were moving the ball, but they had to get greedy and they uh, they paid for it. And so now Oakland has a first and ten at their own uh, 39 yard line, and they're going to go end run with the halfback. And that's an 11 end run. Um, where's my? Yeah. And there's no there is going to be no penalty, and it's an 11 end run on the Steeler D. And that's going to be a fumble plus seven. And two to six or 12, they get it back. They do. They do get it back. So they get seven yards on that. The Steelers, the Steelers forcing two fumbles on runs. I've never seen that in my life. But, uh, yeah, they got two places where they can force a fumble. And they did it there, but Oakland got it back. And so now they have a second and three. And they're going to go... Uh, off tackle with the fullback and that is an eight off tackle no penalty um, on the Pittsburgh defense and that is going to be zero yards and now they have a third and three they're gonna have to go flat here they're going flat to the tight end and that is a seven with a possible defensive penalty seven flat pass on the uh, Pittsburgh defense is Four yards, and it would be a first down, but let's see if they have a penalty. Five, they were off sides, but uh, Oakland will take the uh, they'll take the result of the play, even though it's a yard difference, because um, they still get the first down, and now they have a first down at midfield. And uh, now they're going to go long. They're going to go long to the flanker. They're going to try to catch the Steelers napping here. And that is a six. I don't believe this. Six, it's picked off again. <laughs> six, long pass, 31 yards, 2 to 8, 11, or 12. 
six. It is 30, 10, 20, 30, and one. So the teams know now interception return for the Steelers, eight. That is going to be four yards. They, both teams now know they had better probably just put the long pass away and not use it anymore. The Steelers are going to go end run with Fakwa. And uh, that is a five, and that's going to be a possible fumble. End run five on the Oakland defense. Fumble two to seven. And it is a fumble two to six or 12. They get it back. They don't. So they, let's see, how did they, negative three. So the um, Raiders recovered the ball three yards up the field, and now they have a first and 10 at the 19. And they're going to not waste any time. They're going to go short to the split end, try to get this thing, pop it right into the end zone and get this, um, you know, get a score that they need. It's a six, and it is going to be short pass six on the um, on Lamonica's card, and they are looking for the run. So that's going to be a 14-yard pass play, 10 or 4 and 10, and that's going to be, yeah. So it's going to be a first down at the 5, first and goal at the 5 for the uh, Raiders. And... Uh, they are going to go end run with their halfback, Charlie Smith. And there's a possible offensive penalty, and it's a seven end run seven. You got to think Pittsburgh's going to stuff that. And they don't really, it's two yards, but let's see if there was an offensive penalty on Oakland. Ten. Opponent number five, so it's actually on the Steelers. The penalty is, and that was a run play. So run uh, defense, and it's uh, oh yeah, number it said number five, and that's holding. So it's five yards from the original line of scrimmage on a first down. Um, it is not going to be five yards though, because that would be a touchdown. So it's going to be half the distance, which is going to be two. And two, like two and a half. So now they've got a second and goal, or no, a first and goal because it was the penalty puts it back at first down. So it's first and goal from the two and a half yard line or something. They're going to go line buck with Banzac, the fullback. And that is going to be a 10. Um, line buck 10 is going to be two yards. And it's the two and a half, so they got like a half a yard to go. It's second and goal from the half yard line. They're going to go end run with the halfback. So end run with Charlie Smith. And there's no penalty, and it's a seven end run, and I think that's a touchdown, right? It is, two yards. So that's a touchdown for Oakland. Let's see if their extra point is good. Theirs is, yeah, theirs is automatic. It's George Blanda. We all remember George Blanda, don't we? So it's automatic, so we're not even going to roll any dice for it. And there you go. It's 10-7. And now Oakland will kick off, and it's a three on the kickoff, which is negative five in the end zone, back number one. The Steelers are just going to take it on the 20. So they'll take it on the 20, and they're going to go end run with their halfback, Fakwa. And that is a two end run. They are looking. What are they looking for? They're looking for the run, I think. Yes, they are looking for the run. But it's a two end run on Fakwa's card. And that is zero yards. If they weren't looking for it, it would have been 47. But they were, so it was zero. Uh, they're going to go off tackle with Franco Harris, the fullback. 10-7 game here, folks. Six off tackle, possible defensive penalty. 
and that is going to be zero zero yards because they were looking I think they were looking for it but let's see one to ten pass so they were they were look they weren't looking for it they were not looking for the run they were looking for the pass and so off tackle six is a short gain, but let's see if there was a penalty on Oakland. Six. No, there wasn't. So we're going to roll for the short gain. Short gain is 11, so that's 11 yards. So Franco Harris rumbles for 11, and they have a first and 10 now at the 31 yard, at their own 31. They're going to go end run with Fakwa. And... They are looking for the run, and that is a two and a possible offensive penalty. Fakwa and run, again, they were looking for it. It's zero, um, but let's see if there was an offensive penalty on them on top of that. Nine. Opponent is offsides, so it's actually going to be a first and five. So they got a first and five. They're going to go short to the split end. Short to the split end, they're looking for the run, and that is a six, and there's a possible offensive penalty. Six short pass is going to be a uh, incomplete. No, it's 13. It'll be 13 yards, but let's see if there was an offensive penalty on the Steelers. Six, there isn't, so it is 13, a 13 yard pass. And they're going to have a first and 10 at their own 49. There is 5.30 left in the half. We had crossed over a little while ago to the second quarter. So, and I didn't change halves. I forget to do that all the time. But anyway, there's 5, 5.30 uh, left in the... Uh, um, there's about two-thirds of the uh, second quarter left. They're going to go end run with, uh, with Fakwa. And that's going to be a five. It's going to be a possible fumble. End run five on the uh, defense for Oakland is fumble negative three, two to seven. And it not, but they do lose three yards. So it's going to be second and 13. And they're going to go short to the split end. Short to the split end, nine. And they're looking for the, um, what are they looking for? Second and 13. One to 10 pass, and that was a 15. So they're looking for the run. And that was a nine short pass, which is incomplete. So they've got a third and 13. They're going to go long. They said they weren't going to do it, but they're going to go long to the flanker. Possible uh, offensive penalty, and it's an eight long pass. Eight long pass on Oakland's defense is receiver. It's a receiver. First of all, before we go to the receiver card, let's see. Now, 15, they were probably... Third and they were looking for the pass. Yeah, they were looking for the pass. But before we go to the receiver card, let's see if there was a penalty on Pittsburgh. Five. It was. They were off sides. So they're going to back up five. And uh, they're going to have a they're going to redo the third down. It's going to be third and very long. They're going to go long again, long to the split end. They're going to hope this time. Well, they'll go long to the flanker, long to the flanker. And uh, that is a, it's on the Oakland defense, 10. Long 10 is receiver again. And this time there's no penalty. And that is a four. And they are definitely looking for the pass. So long on the flanker. 
Um, and that's what, four? Four is 29. No, it's incomplete. It would have been 29, but they were looking for the pass. They were definitely looking for the pass. Um, so they're going to have to punt. That's what the long and the short of it is. And eight is, on the punt is 44 back one. So four, 10, 20, 30, 40. And back number one, and that's a five on punt return, and it's negative two. So they're going to have a first and 10 from their 13-yard um, line. Oakland will. And they're going to go end run with the halfback, Charlie Smith. I know we're approaching, we're at about the halfway point of the second quarter. And that is going to be a, I'm going to tape these cards up for the second half. Five end run is going to be a possible fumble, but there's a possible defensive penalty. Let's resolve that first. Nine. And nine is going to be um, opponent offsides. So um, we don't even have to resolve it. Well, we do. We do because if they did fumble, um, they they don't want to see. So let's see. Uh, end run. End run on the halfback. Uh, Charlie Smith five is. They were looking for the run, so it's fumble negative six, two to five or twelve. And it's a six, so he did not fumble, but he lost um, six yards, and the penalty would have been a five yard loss, so they're, the Steelers are going to take the result of the play. And now Oakland has a first and ten from their eight yard line and they're going to go short to the split end and that's going to be a four on short pass against the Pittsburgh defense and it's going to be 36 yards two to ten. Oh wait a minute no no it's intercepted intercepted two to eight or twelve and it is intercepted because it was a short pass not a long pass two to eight or twelve it is intercepted and 11 yards down the field so two ten and they're going to return it from the 19 yard line and that's a six and six on an interception return is 12 yards so they've got a first and ten at the seven that was uh, that was pretty devastating right there. They're gonna go end run with Fakwa. End run with Fakwa for the Steelers. It's six. End run on his card. They're looking for the run, or no? They're looking for the pass. And that's gonna be a short gain and a touchdown because you can't get anything less than that. So the uh, extra point is good, and the Steelers now have 17. And there you go. I don't know if you can see that because I don't know if that's in the thing, but it's 17-7 Steelers over the Raiders right now. And the Steelers are going to kick off, and that's a 10 on the kickoff, which is to the 9, number 2. And I will switch sides for these guys um, at the uh, half. Nine yard line, number two back on the kickoff. That's a 10. Um, and that's going to be 21 yards. So one, 10, 20. Nice field position, but they got to go a long way. They got a long way to make up. They're going to go end run with the halfback, Charlie Smith. And it's a possible offensive penalty and a 10, end run 10 on the uh, Pittsburgh defense. And that is going to be negative two yards. Um, and let's see if they had a penalty. Eight. Number five. They do have a penalty. 
and it's going to be holding 10 yards from the original line of scrimmage. So the Pittsburgh Steelers will take that because it's 10 yards. So they've got a uh, first and 20. And they're going to go um, end run with the fullback, Banizak. Fullback, Banizak. And uh, that's going to be a four end run on Banizak's card with them looking for the pass. And it's going to be 12 yards. So he gets a nice chunk back. And they've got a, a third and um, eight. Something like a third and eight. So third and eight, they're going to go short to the tight end. Short pass to the tight end. And uh, that is a nine short pass. When they are looking for, what are they looking for? Third and eight. One to 14 pass. They are looking for the pass. And that is a nine. Short pass on LaMonica is incomplete. So uh, they are going to have to punt. And that's a five. That's not a bad punt. 42 back two. So three, 10, 20, 30, 40. Back it off one. They're returning it from the uh, 26. And the return is a seven, which is on Oakland's return card. And that's going to be three yards. So Pittsburgh has it first and 10 at their own 29. And they're going to go end run with the halfback. I mean, they've got a 17-7 lead. And they would be fairly happy to take this to the... Uh, that's a 12, end run 12 on the Oakland defense with no penalty. Let's see what that is. That's a short gain. And the short gain is 10, which is only like 12 yards. Yeah, it is 12 yards. So they got a first and 10 at their 41. And they're going to go end run with the fullback, Franco Harris. And they're looking for the run. And it's a five end run possible defensive penalty, but it's a, um, a possible fumble too. Fumble, negative five. What were they looking for? They are looking for the pass. So it is a fumble. Fumble zero on a two, roll of two. And it isn't. So he got zero yards. Um, possible defensive penalty. Let's roll for that. And that's a seven. And that is no penalty. So he got zero yards on that. It's second and ten. They're going to go long to the flanker. They said they weren't going to do this. Everybody said they were, hey, we're swearing it off because we got intercepted. But we're doing it. And it's an eight. And uh, they are looking for the pass. Eight long pass on the uh, Oakland defense is receiver. Receiver looking for it, and it is the flanker, and it's an eight. And that's going to be 28 yards. Four, 10, 20, and four. So they got a first and 10, Oakland territory at 31. Big play right there. And there's 230 left, and they're going to go short to the split end. They're going to keep the pressure on. And it is a five short pass. They're looking for the run. There's a possible offensive penalty. But let's see what short pass is first. Short pass five is receiver. So let's see if there was a penalty on Pittsburgh before we do that. Six. No, there's no penalty. So let's see what a short pass on the split end is when they're not looking for it. Nine. And it's going to be 17 yards. So they got a first and 10 
at the 14 yard line of Oakland and they're threatening to score again. They're going to go end run with a halfback, Farqua. And that is an 11 on his card when they're not looking for it. No, they are. Wait. No, I don't think they are. No, they are. They are looking for the run. And so that's an 11 end run on Farqua, and it's four yards. So they've got a second and six. And they're going to go short to the split end, try to pop it right into the end zone right now. That's an eight, and they are looking for the pass. No, they're looking for the run. They're looking for, I think they're looking for the run. Second down, and... Yeah, they're looking for the run. And uh, so this is a short pass to the split end, and it is an eight short on Bradshaw's card and not looking for its receiver and we will roll a receiver and that's an eight and this is the split end it's incomplete double incomplete on that so um, oh time doesn't move on that one because it was the two minute warning so they've got a, a third and like third and six I think they're going to go end run with a halfback. They're going to try to catch him not looking for the run. And that is going to be an eight with a possible defensive penalty, and they're looking for the run. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's roll for the defensive penalty on Oakland first. Seven. There isn't one. And so an eight on the end run on um, Farquaad's card is negative one because they were they were looking for the run so the Steelers are going to kick the field goal they got a fourth down now and time does move on that one and that's a seven the kick is good and the Steelers have extended their lead as you can see right here it is 20 to 7 with the Steelers ahead, 20 to 7 over the Raiders of 19, the Raiders of 1972. And they will kick off, and that is an 8, and cards falling all over the place. Um, 8 is um, a touchback. And the Raiders have it at the 20. In 1972, it was the 20. They are going to go, they're going to come out and go long. They're going to take a shot here. They've got to try to take a shot and get something before the half. And that is a nine with no penalties, but looking for the run. So nine long pass on the Pittsburgh D is negative eight yards. And they're going to go end run with the halfback, try to get some yards back for a decent punt because three and run three on the defense but there's a possible offensive penalty five they were off sides unbelievable they would have had a short game but no they had to fritter that away and so now they're gonna go uh, it's second and uh, and forever they're going to go long. They're going to take a shot, go long to the split end, try to get out of this um, funk here. That is an eight, and um, they're looking for the, right now they're looking for the pass. So eight on the uh, defensive, or there's a possible defensive penalty. So let's see what eight is first on the long pass defense. And that is... Receiver, so it's going to be a receiver, but let's see if there's a defensive penalty on them six There isn't So we will roll for the receiver and the receiver is a split end and that's a seven split end and uh, On long it's incomplete 
So they've got now it's third and forever. Um, third and forever, they're just going to go end run with a halfback. The Steelers are looking for the um, pass. End run halfback and an eight on the uh, on the Pittsburgh defense is going to be zero yards, and they have to punt right from there. They better get a good one off. Seven is 39 back one. So four, 10, 20, 30, and five. They're going to return it from the 45 yard line of Oakland. And that is a five. And the punt return five is fair catch. So they got a first and 10 at the 45. They could yet score again. And if they call their three timeouts, they will be able to do that. They will have enough plays. They're going to go long to the flanker. And Oakland is looking for the run. And that is a six long pass on the Oakland defense, which is intercepted two to nine. And it is 31 yards down the field, 10, 20, 30, and a one. Oakland intercepts, they better hope for a big return and they don't get that. So it's only 12 yards. One, 10, one. Uh, they're just going to, uh, go off tackle with the, uh, halfback. They're going to run out the clock for the half and just hope they can regroup. Uh, eight off tackle when they're looking for the run is, uh, well, I, I guess that doesn't matter. It's on their defense. Off tackle on the Pittsburgh defense is, um, zero yards. So they're going to go and run with the halfback. And that's going to be a, an eight, end run eight, when they're not looking for it. And that's going to be nine yards. So they are a yard away from a first down. Um, they're going to go line buck with the fullback. This will be the last play of the half if there's no defensive penalty. And that is a four. Line buck four on the, on the defense for the Pittsburgh Steelers is eight yards. And that's how we end the first half of the game between the 72 Raiders and the 72 Steelers. The Steelers are up 20 to seven at the half. So we are back for the second half of the football game between the 72 Steelers and the 72 Raiders. With the Raiders losing currently by a score of 20 to 7 to the Steelers. And as a nice historic side note, the score of this game, this real the real game, which was the first week. Uh, of the NFL season in 1972, the actual score of the game at halftime was 17-7 Steelers. So they're only winning by three more points than they actually did. And the Steelers will get the kickoff in the uh, second half. And you can see I have rubber banded my cards to the... Uh, to the wooden blocks so they won't fall down which is cool so let's get on with the kickoff the Raiders kicking off to the Steelers and that is zero yards in the end zone number two back I think I'm going to just return that and that is a seven so it's on the uh, Oakland return card and it's 22 yards so the Steelers will start first and 10 at the 22 now going this way and uh, they are going to start off with an end run by the halfback, Franco Harris. Or no, not the, uh, the halfback is um, Franchi Fuqua. 
And he gets a seven, and uh, they are looking for the, what are they looking for? First and ten, they are looking for the run. And that is a seven on Fuqua's card, and it's going to be five yards, which is nice. So it's second and five, and they're going to go off tackle, this time with Franco Harris. And he gets a nine, and they are definitely looking run. So nine off tackle Harris is uh, five yards. And that gets them the first down exactly. And so now they have, and we have to move this two for two plays. And uh, they are going to go back to end run Fakwa. I mean, you know, if it's working, don't change it, right? Um, eight, and that's going to be a possible offensive penalty, and it's going to be on the defensive card for Oakland. Off um, end run eight on Oakland's defense is five yards, but let's see if the Steelers have a penalty. On that, they roll an eight, which is not, so they get five yards again. And they just keep moving the ball, moving the ball, moving the ball. And they're going to go off tackle with Franco Harris. I mean, why not? You got, as I said, um, Terry Bradshaw only passed for 47% or something like that this year. So uh, off tackles, nine. They are looking for the, I think they're looking for the pass, but it's a possible offensive penalty. Let's see what they're looking for. Uh, second and five. They are looking for the pass. Possible offensive penalty, and it's a nine. So let's see. Uh, off tackle, nine. Would be seven yards and a first down, but let's see if they have a penalty. Seven, they do not. So they do get seven yards. And another first down, and they the Steelers now have it first and ten at the uh, at their own 44 yard line and they're going to go end run with Fakwa. I mean just keep running the ball if they can't stop it they can't stop it that's a 12 and that's going to be a 12 end run on the uh, Oakland defense and that's going to be a short gain so let's roll for the short gain and that's going to be a three that's like 19 yeah it is 19 yards so one 10 20 and back it off one and that run um, by Fakwa puts it all the way down to the Oakland 31-yard line. And uh, another tick off the clock, and they're going to go off tackle with Frank O'Harris. I mean, you know, they're just going to keep alternating this until Oakland proves that they can stop it. That is a 9. It's on the Oakland defense off tackle, and it is 5 yards. Again, no need for Bradshaw to get involved because their running backs are doing a great job on their own. Second and five, and they're going to go end run. Um, end run with Fakwa. And that's going to be a three. That's going to be a short gain. No penalty. No possible penalty. And it's a seven for the short gain, which is 15 yards. One and 15 and back it off one and that moves it all the way down to the Oakland uh, 16 yard line and they are now going to go off tackle again back to Harris Franco Harris and uh, no penalty in that time it's a five which is going to be um, off tackle five is a and they are looking for the they're looking for the, uh, I think they're looking for the run. Let's see. No, they're, yes, they are looking for the run. So off tackle five is going to be a fumble negative one, two to three. So he fumbles two to three. He does, and two to six or 12, they get it back. They do, but he loses a yard. And so now, on 2nd and 11, they're going to go end run with Fakwa. Because, you know, why not? Uh, the 5 again! They roll another 5. And uh, this time, let's see, 2nd and 11. 
one to ten pass so they are looking for the pass and uh, end run is fumble negative six two to three so they don't fumble but he loses six yards and now all of a sudden the Steeler offense that was moving right down the field methodically has been stalled to say the least and on third and 17 they're gonna go short to the split end and that is a six and they're looking for the pass and a six short pass on the uh, Oakland defense is 12 yards 2 to 6 11 or 12 and it is it's going to be 12 yards 3 10 back it off 1 but that does bring up fourth down at the 11 yard line they're not going to hesitate they're going to kick the field goal with Roy Jarella he's coming out and they are at the 11 yard line so it's 2 to 8 11 or 12 and it is good and so the Steelers have extended their lead as you can see right here hopefully hopefully you can see that 23 to 7 so it is 23 7 Steelers the Steelers are going to kick off to Oakland they've got to get into this because and that's going to be zero yards in the end zone back number one and they are going to return it and that's going to be a six six on the return is 24 yards so they'll have the ball first and 10 at the 24. and i want to point out that there is going to be an offensive change i promised it at the start of the game <laughs> The uh, Raiders were not doing well in the first quarter, or the first half, with, uh, with LaMonica at quarterback. And so, they do have Ken the Snake Stabler now at quarterback. They also made a change at running back at, at fullback. Um, Banizak is out at fullback, and Marv Hubbard is the new fullback. He had 219 attempts for 1,100 yards and a 5-yard average. And with them, with him, they will start off, off tackle fullback with Marv Hubbard. And uh, that is a four, off tackle four is going to be nine yards. And it's a worlds of difference. Now, they do have some time. Uh, we've got a whole half almost. So, they're going to go end run with the halfback. And the halfback is, for the Raiders, is Charlie H. Smith. And that is going to be a six end run and a possible offensive penalty. End run six is three yards, but let's see if there is an offensive penalty on the Raiders. That's an eight, and it says number five, so there is a penalty. And the penalty is going to be holding ten yards from the line of scrimmage. So that is a debilitating mistake right there. And uh, it's going to give them a um, second and 11 instead of second and one, which is what they had. They're going to go um, off tackle with the fullback again. So they're going to go back to the uh, to back to the run again. Eight off tackle possible defensive penalty. That's a zero yard pickup. But let's see five if there's a penalty and it is it is offside. So Pittsburgh was offsides that moves the Raiders up five yards and now gives them a second and um, second and six, I think second and six. So they're gonna go end run with a halfback on second and six. And that's going to be a six um, end run. Um, and that's going to be three yards. So now they've got a third and uh, manageable. Third and three. Third and three. They're going to go line buck with the fullback. Line buck with the fullback and they get a five. And that's going to be a possible fumble. 
Um, five is fumble negative, or uh, let's see. They were, I think they were probably looking for the pass. Third and five, let's see. Uh, they were looking for the pass. So, or wait a minute. Third and three. They were, they were still looking for the pass. So they were looking for the pass. And so that is going to be a fumble plus one, two to four. And it's not, but he only gets one yard and he needed three. So they've got a fourth and two and they have a decision to make. And they are going to make the decision that they're going to go for it. And they're going to go flat to the tight end. And that is going to be a nine with a possible offensive penalty. Nine is going to be a receiver. Um, but let's see if they have a penalty first. Ten. Opponent number five. All right, so it's the Steelers who actually had the penalty. And this was on a pass. So, five is roughing the passer 15 yards from the original line of scrimmage in a first down. So, they don't even have to consider what the receiver did. Three, ten, and two. And that gives the Raiders a first down at their own 48, 47-yard line. And they do keep the ball moving. They keep it moving. And now they're going to go... And run with a halfback. Now, of course, I want to point out, Stabler was no great guy himself, although he did pass for 59.5%. Uh, they're going to go end run with a halfback. And there is a possible offensive penalty. Again, seven end run with their halfback is... Um, they are looking for, I think they were looking for the, uh, yeah, they're looking for the pass. So seven is going to be a possible eight yard pickup, but let's see if they had a penalty. Six, I don't think they did. No, they didn't. So they, uh, so they do have a, uh, what was this? Half back and run. They do have, I think, a six yard pickup. I think I said it was a six yard pickup. So they got a second and four. And now they're going to go flat back to the flat pass to the tight end. And that's going to be a 10 flat pass on the Pittsburgh defense, which is negative four yards. And now they've got a, a third and eight. Third and eight, they're going to go short to the split end. And that's going to be a three. And uh, let's see what three is on the snake. It's um, must run. Although, wait a minute. What is this third and third and eight? 1 to 14 pass. So they are looking for the pass. So it is a must run. The stabler has to has to roll out of the pocket and get away from the pressure in a rock field. And he gets a 5, which is 8 yards, and it's just barely a first down. And the Raiders incredibly keep the clock moving, although they are eating an awful lot of time doing it. Uh, they're going to go end run with the halfback. And that is going to be a nine and a possible defensive penalty. Nine end run on the Pittsburgh defense is negative one yard. But let's see if they had a penalty. Five. They do. They were offside. So it's going to be a five yard penalty and it's going to be first and five. And they're going to go flat to the uh, flat to the halfback. They're going to throw it to Charlie H. Smith. And a possible defensive penalty and a four. Flat pass four on the Pittsburgh defense. is going to be possibly intercepted two to eight. 
it is intercepted. Uh, but first of all, let's see if there was a defensive penalty on Pittsburgh. And that's a nine. And it's opponent offsides. And so they will um, refuse that. And so four yards down the field. And we'll roll for the interception return by Pittsburgh. And that's going to be big. That's going to be a huge return. Um, and it was, was it a flat pass? It was a flat pass. It's going to be a touchdown. It's going to be a pick six. Unbelievable. And so Pittsburgh scores yet again. And they will kick the uh, extra point, which I think is uh, 2 to 11. And it is good. So there you go. It is 30 to 7. There's the score. 30 to 7 Pittsburgh. And they will kick off. And that is a 5. And 5 on the kickoff is 12 to the 12. Number 2 back. So... The Raiders will catch the ball to 12. Number two back is a five on the return. And it's going to be 18 yards. Three and then 15. And they get a first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. Now they've got to start really moving the ball. They're going to come out and they're going to go long. Try to catch the Steelers napping. And that is going to be a six. And it is a definite looking for the run, but it's an impossible offensive penalty, too. It is going to be a receiver since they were not looking for it. And it would be a five, which is the, the flanker. Flanker five long is incomplete. And let's see if there was a penalty on the Raiders. Ten is opponent number five. So opponent number five, I think we... Determine that that is offsides. Pa Let's see. Pass. Offense. Five. Or uh, defense five is roughing the passer 15 yards. And a first down. Now, now they got a first down at the 45. But again, they have to go quickly. They're going to go long to the split end. They're going to hope for these penalties or... A nice play. Five, long pass. Looking for the uh, pass is a must run. So Stabler is out on his own running, running the ball. And that's a five again, and that's eight yards. So the young spry, uh, Ken Stabler, which none of us really remember him as, uh, he gets an eight-yard pickup and... So now they've got a second and two. They're going to go flat to the tight end just to make sure they try to make sure that they get the, the uh, first down. Possible defensive penalty. And it is a five on flat pass. Um, and that would be 11 yards if they were wrong. And they were, I think, let's see, third and their second and two. One to three pass. So they were wrong. Yeah. So it is 11 yards. Uh, but let's see if there was a defensive penalty. It might be better for them. Six. Pittsburgh. No. There's no penalty on Pittsburgh. So it is an 11-yard pickup. And now the uh, Raiders have a first and 10 from the uh, Pittsburgh 36-yard line. And they are going to... Use that opportunity. We, we are closing in on the end of the uh, third quarter. The third, Not much time left in the uh, third quarter. They're going to go long to the flanker. And that is going to be a seven long. And uh, let's see what that is on the snake. It's incomplete. So they're going to go short. Let's go a higher percentage pass short to the split end. And that's going to be an eight. And uh, let's see, eight. And are they looking for it? Fourteen. Might not even matter. It doesn't. It's incomplete either way. 
So now they've got a third and 10. Third and 10, they're going to go short, keep it high percentage, short to the tight end. Six and a six short pass on the Pittsburgh defense is incomplete. And now they've got a decision. They are at the 36-yard line, kicking a field goal from the 36 for George Blanda is only a two. It's only good on a two. So they have got to, uh, they got to go for it. They're in Pittsburgh territory and uh, they're down by um, 23 points. So they've got to go for it. They're going to go short to the split end. That is going to be a nine short pass on the Pittsburgh D. And that's going to be a receiver. They're looking for the run for whatever reason. And that's a 12. 12 on the split end is, uh, for a short pass, is 18 yards and a first down. So they gambled and they won. And now they have a first down at the Pittsburgh 19 yard line. And they're going to go short again to the flanker. And that's going to be an eight. Um, and by the way, that would have been an 18 yard pickup, even if Pittsburgh had been looking for it. So it didn't really hurt that they weren't looking for it. Uh, that is an eight on a short pass on Stabler's card, possible offensive penalty. Um, and they are looking for the run. So it is um, receiver. But let's see if they have an offensive penalty first. Eight, they don't. So let's see what the receiver gets. Four. Um, let's see here. Short flanker, four, short pass. Not looking for it. 17 yards, and that'll take them down to the two. First and goal at the two. And there's only one tick left in the third quarter, and they're going to go line buck with their fullback. And as I said, that is now Marv Hubbard. And he gets a four, and they're looking for it. Possible offensive penalty for line buck is going to be a touchdown, but let's see if there was an offensive penalty by Oakland. There isn't, and so it is a touchdown, and they will kick the extra point, which is, well, it's automatic. So they have... 14 points, and that gets Oakland on the board right at the end of the third quarter. And there you go. There's your score, 30 to 14 right now. So 30 to 14, and they will kick off. And it is an 8, and 8 is to the 3, number 1. And the number one back on the kickoff return is Preston Pearson, and he gets a six. Didn't he play for Dallas later? He gets a 20-yard return, so um, I think that's to the uh, 23 then. First and 10 at the 23 for Pittsburgh. And we're in the fourth quarter now. Um and Oakland down by 16. Not an enviable position. And they're going to go end run with the halfback Pittsburgh will because why not? You eat time and you do a seven end run on the Oakland defense is one yard. So it's second and nine. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback. And that's Franco Harris. And that is a six off tackle with a possible offensive penalty. Uh, six would be zero since they were, were they looking for it? I don't know if they're looking for it. They might not be. Second and nine. One to 11 pass. Yeah, they're, they're, um, they're looking for it. So, uh, it would be zero yards, but let's see if they even have a penalty on top of that. Nine is 
opponent offsides, so they actually get uh, they actually get five yards. And uh, so now they have a second and four, I believe. Second and four, they're going to go end run with the halfback. And that is a seven end run, not looking or looking for the run. End run seven. And that's going to be five yards and a first down. So the Steelers have a first down. They, the, the, Oakland has got to stop them because they need 16 points. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback, Franco Harris. They got to shut down this running game. 12 off tackle on the Oakland defense is five yards. So they get another five and they're going to go line buck with Farqua, the halfback. And that's going to be a seven line buck on the Oakland defense. And it's going to be a yard. So they have a third and four coming up. And now they're going to go flat pass to the tight end. Haven't The Steelers have not had to pass much this game. Five flat pass on the Oakland D is seven yards and a first down. And they just keep the chains moving. And that's bad news for Oakland. They're going to go end run with their halfback, Fakwa. And that's going to be a five. That's in. Uh, that's going to be a possible fumble. End run five. Fumble negative three. Two to seven they fumble. They do. And two to six or twelve they get it back. They don't. So that was the break that the uh, Raiders needed. They get it three yards further downfield. So they have a first and ten at the Pittsburgh um, forty-four yard line. And they're going to go long right from there to the flanker, hoping for a quick touchdown strike. And that is an 11 and a possible offensive penalty. Long 11 is intercepted 31 um, if they were looking for it, which they were. 2 to 9 or 12. 7, it's intercepted, so Pittsburgh would certainly take that. 31 yards down the field. 4. 10, 20, 30, back it off, 3, and do the return, and that's a 3, but it wasn't a flat pass, so it won't be a touchdown this time, it's going to be 15 yards, 2, 10, and 3, and Pittsburgh has it now at their own 33-yard line, that was the last thing Oakland really needed. So now they're going to go back to their running game, end run, and you know what? They're going to make a change at uh, running back because now they can do that. And they are going to, well, maybe they will. Yeah, they're going to go Preston Pearson at halfback in place of Charlie Smith. Preston Pearson in uh, 1972 had 67 attempts for 264 yards, and they're going to go end run with Preston Pearson. And his first attempt, he gets four yard, four a roll of four on the Oakland um, defense, which is five yards. And it's surprising that Oakland was good against the run because they're just giving up all kinds of yards running. Now they're going to go end run with Franco Harris, the fullback. Franco Harris will not be taken out of the game. Nine, end run nine on Franco Harris. And they are looking for, I believe they would still be looking for the run. Let's see. Second and five. One to six pass. So they are, actually they are looking for the run. And uh, end run fullback, Franco Harris. Oh. Put the wrong guy. All right, anyway. Um, 
and it that was uh, nine and run is three yards and we uh, I think we put the wrong guy yeah we lifted the wrong guy from the game so anyway uh, that's three yards and so it's a second or it's a third and two. Third and two for Pittsburgh they're gonna go flat to the tight end And that is a 10, flat pass, 10 on um, Bradshaw is uh, five yards and a first down. So they keep the chain moving. They keep them moving. They're going to go end run with Preston Pearson again. And that's going to be an eight. And uh, let's see if they're looking for it. They are looking for the run. And it's going to be negative eight. Negative eight. So now they've got a second and 18. They're going to go short to the split end. Uh, and that's going to be a four short pass four on the Oakland defense, which is intercepted two to eight or 12. And it is intercepted. They needed that 15 yards downfield two. 15 and the interception return they need a 2 on this or or 12 they don't get that they get a 12 yard return so 3 13 2 so they have it first and 10 at the uh, Pittsburgh 33 they're going to go long to the flanker they got to get this score quick and that's going to be a 10 and they are looking for the pass um, 10, and we're going to say that Pittsburgh's looking for the pass all the time now. Uh, 10 long pass on the uh, Pittsburgh defense is receiver. And uh, the receiver is the flanker. And that's a 7 on the flanker. And that's going to be a long gain or, or, wait a minute, no, 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 wrong, wrong team. But it is going to be 27 yards, and so it'll be 3, 10, 20, and 4. And so they are have, they have a first and 10 down at the 6. And now they're going to go end run with the halfback. Pittsburgh looking for the pass, though, because, you know, they can let them take as much time as they want. 7, end run... Seven on the Pittsburgh defense is two yards. So they have a second and goal from the four. And they're going to go off tackle with the fullback. And that's going to be a five, and that's a possible fumble off tackle. Five is two yards, two to four. The fumble is two to four. It is not. And so it is two yards, and now they're down to the uh, two-yard line. Uh, however, time is working against them. They're going to go off tackle with a halfback. And this is why Pittsburgh just looking for the pass, because it doesn't matter. Nine possible defensive penalty, nine off tackle on the Pittsburgh defense is... One yard, which will take it down to the one, but let's see if there was a defensive penalty on Pittsburgh. Ten. Um, opponent number five. So opponent number five is going to be probably like offsides or something. Uh, run offense five, holding ten yards. So they're back to the 12. And now they have a... Uh, third and 12 and that changes the complexion of everything and uh, with Pittsburgh looking for the pass they're going to go short to the tight end and that's going to be a 10 short pass on the Pittsburgh defense which is incomplete and now they got to go for it because they need a touchdown there's only 330 left in the game so They've got to go short to the split end with Pittsburgh looking for the pass. 
And that is a five short pass five on the Pittsburgh defense. And that's receiver. And it is the split end. Split end six gets a 15 yards and a touchdown. And so that is a touchdown. Their extra point is automatic. So they get another seven points. And that is great, but that makes it 30 to 21. 30 to 21 with only a few minutes, maybe 315 left in the game. They're going to do an onside kick. So let me get my onside kick chart here. And that is a five. That ain't going to be good. It's recovered by the offense on their own 40. And by offense, that means the receiving team. Because um, they're, they emphasize defense in black. And there's only four chances to recover for a defense. So it is referring to the Steelers recovering um, the ball on their own 40-yard line. So... They have it first and 10 at the 40. Oakland had to do that, obviously. They're going to go end run with the halfback, the Steelers are. And uh, that is an 8. And let's see. And they are looking for the pass, Oakland is. Um, 8 end run on uh, the halfback, Preston Pearson, is 3 yards. So it's second and seven. They're going to go uh, and run with the fullback, Franco Harris. Switch it back to Franco. And that is a six, end run six on the Oakland defense. And that is going to be five yards. And that brings up a third and two. Third and two, they're going to go line buck with a halfback, Preston Pearson. It's his turn. He's going to do it. And that is a seven line buck, and they are looking for, let's see, third and two. They are looking for the pass. So uh, that's going to be a, a seven line buck for Pearson. And that's going to be five yards because they weren't looking for it. First down, Steelers. And they're going to go end run. It's, you know, a boring offense, but it's going to get them the win. End run with the fullback. And that's going to be an 11 end run on the uh, Oakland defense. And that is going to be eight yards. And that brings up a second and two. And we are approaching the two-minute warning. They're going to go off tackle with Preston Pearson. And that's going to be a 12, off tackle 12 on the Oakland D, and that's five yards. So they get a first down, and now it's the two-minute warning. Time will not move on this play. And they're going to go end run with a halfback. End run with a halfback six. And uh, they were looking for the pass. Six um, is going to be seven yards. And so they have a second and three. Time didn't move, so now time will start moving again. They're going to go a uh, long pass. Try to catch them napping here. Going to go long pass. Since they only have to get three yards anyway. And that is going to be a four with a possible defensive penalty. But it's a four on the uh, Oakland long pass defense. Which is incomplete. And um, seven on the defensive penalty is nothing. So that was an incomplete pass. And they are going to go um, on third and three. They're going to go end run with Franco Harris. And that is a six. Let's see, third and three. 
they're looking for the pass. They are easily looking for the pass. And um, that is a six end run Harris. And that's going to be five yards and a first down. Another tick off the clock. And uh, Oakland's going to use a timeout here and try to get the ball back. So end run with the halfback Preston Pearson on first down. And that's going to be a seven and they're looking for the run. And that is zero. And time didn't move because Oakland took a timeout. They're going to take their second timeout and they're going to go off tackle with Franco Harris. And that's going to be a seven off tackle seven. Um, on the uh, Oakland defense and that's going to be only two yards and so they got a third and eight and now Oakland will let time move again they're not going to take their third time out just yet and they're going to go short to the tight end is what Pittsburgh's offense is going to be and that's going to be a four short pass four and that's going to be intercepted two to eight or twelve it is not. It's incomplete, but it is uh, does bring up fourth down, and they'll kick a field goal from the twenty yard line. Roy Jarella from the twenty is two to seven, eleven or twelve, and it isn't. It's no good, and so Oakland takes over. Oakland comes up with a key stop, but they only have a minute fifteen left in the game, and so obviously they're going long to the flanker. Pittsburgh only looking for the pass. And that is a 12 long pass on the Pittsburgh D. And that is going to be a long gainer, people. Sit in your seats. And that's an 11. Long pass, long gain 11 is 70 yards. So um, that brings it down to the 10-yard line of the Steelers. That was a nice pass by the Snake. And now they're going to call a timeout. They're going to go short to the split end, so time will not move on this play. And that is a five, and they're only looking for the pass, so I don't know why I rolled the other dice. But anyway, five on the uh, short pass for Pittsburgh is receiver, and it's a possible defensive penalty, too. And six, the receiver is the split end. Split end six on a short pass. That's going to be 15 yards and a possible touchdown. Let's see if they have a... Pittsburgh has a, a, an offsides, but they're, not, they're going to refuse that. And the extra point is good, and it is a touchdown. And uh, Oakland, if nothing else, has at least made this an exciting uh, game. But, well, really, a really exciting game because it's 28-30 to 30 right now. As you can see, there's your score... It's Raiders 28, Pittsburgh 30, but there's almost no time left. And um, they're going to try an onside kick again, and the onside kick is good. <laughs> onside kick recovered by the defense at midfield. Hold on, people. Just hold on. <laughs> we don't know that we're done yet. Um, and the time didn't move because that was a kick. So, um, And the uh, Raiders still have... Um, I think they have no more timeouts. They took all their timeouts. So they're going to go long to the flanker. Pittsburgh looking for the pass. That is an 11 long pass. What is that going to get them? That's going to get them nothing. That's going to get them a whole lot of nothing. So they got a second and 10. Second and 10, they're going to go long to the split end. And that's going to be an eight, long pass. Eight is a receiver. Sit in your seats, split end. Uh, we're going to roll the split end on a long pass, looking for it. And that's a long game. Do you believe this, people? And that's going to be a touchdown. <laughs> touchdown, Oakland. <laughs> the snake has brought the Raiders all the way back. <laughs> Unbelievable. So they, And the extra point is good. And so that um, gives them
35. The Raiders have come all the way back and they lead now 35 30. And there's only 30 seconds left in the game for Pittsburgh to try to get back into this now. That ball control offense of the Steelers let them down. <laughs> or did it? I don't know. But anyway, there's going to be a regular kickoff now by Oakland. And they get an 8 on the kickoff, which is to the 3, number 1. 3, number 1. And uh, they needed like a touchdown return here. Can they even get that? They cannot. And that's a 6, which is 20 yards. So it's going to be out to the 23. First and 10 for Pittsburgh at the 23. And they do have two timeouts and they're going to, or two? Yes, I believe, I believe they even have three. So they're going to use those timeouts. They're going to go long to the flanker. And Oakland is now only looking for the pass. Long to the flanker, seven for uh, on Terry Bradshaw's card is a must run. So Terry Bradshaw is now flushed from the pocket and running. And it's a young Terry Bradshaw and he gets 15 yards. Two, 10, and three. And now they have a first and 10 at the um, at their own uh, 38 yard line, but they gotta move this ball. Uh, they're gonna take their second time out. So time won't move again. And they're gonna go uh, long to the split end, long to the split six, long pass Oakland is intercepted two to nine. That was not good. And that is eight. It is intercepted 31 yards down the field. And that should do it. 10, 20, 10, 20, 30 and back it off one. And the return for Oakland is five. And uh, that's going to be 20 yards. 4, 14, and 6 is 20 yards. And they've got it first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 49. And uh, there's only two ticks left. They're just going to go off tackle with the fullback on the first uh, play. And they're looking for the run, and that's a six with a possible defensive penalty. Six off tackle is uh, zero yards, and let's see if there was a defensive penalty. Eight. I don't think there is. There isn't. So they got a second and ten. Uh, Pittsburgh is going to take um, another timeout. I think this is their last timeout. I think they have one more that they can take. So they're going to take their last timeout here. It's going to be end run with a halfback or with a with a halfback, and that is a seven end run possible defensive penalty. End run seven I expect is zero. No, it's two yards. And um, let's see if there was a defensive penalty on them. Seven there is not, and so uh, time didn't move there because they took their last time out, and now they're going to uh, just run out the clock. They're going to go line buck with the fullback and they're looking for it doesn't really matter I don't think but uh, they're looking for the run uh, seven line buck seven on the Pittsburgh defense is zero and that's your game people that is the game and the final score the final crazy score in this game is Raiders 35 Pittsburgh 30 the um Steelers actually won the real game something like 34-28. And so it, it really almost emulated the actual game in score. And um, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.